Hey guys, Jeff Buckman here. Hey, I got another tip here for you. Um, we're going to be talking about downshifting, okay? Where we do downshifting. If you've been following my videos, you'll know the last video I did was heel toe downshifting, how we do the downshifting, okay? How we use two feet on three pedals. If you haven't seen it, go back, check out the heel toe downshifting exercise. It's actually pretty good. This is going to be more about where and why we do downshifting, okay? I'm going to be um, explaining to you um, this as if we were on the racetrack, but it can still be applied out on the street, and I'll explain that in a minute. Okay, so let's talk about real quick why do we downshift a car, okay? Um, a lot of people will think that we do downshifting to help slow the car down, okay? We actually um, can do that. We can actually stick it in gear, let the clutch out, a lower gear is going to use engine compression, and it'll slow the car down. Not a great idea because it can actually really wear out your parts on your transmission, drivetrain, and they're a heck of a lot more expensive than brake parts. Okay, so if we're not really using it to slow the car down, why do we downshift? Well, we want to downshift the car so that we're in the proper gear, in the proper RPM range, to actually leave a corner. So if we're coming down a straightaway, we want to get the car slowed, not only slow down to make the corner, but then we want to have it in the gear that's proper for that speed in the RPM range so that we can properly and efficiently accelerate out of, the, out of the corner. That's what we're thinking about on a racetrack. And that works for the street as well, okay? So, we know now we want to downshift a car simply to be in the proper gear to leave a corner. Okay, so now we're going to talk about where. Where do we downshift a car? Okay, so the rule is we want to downshift the car while we're still in a straight line before we actually turn into the corner. So, let's go over that. Let's talk about this. We're going to, we're going to play around here a little bit. Let's say, okay, we're on a racetrack, we're coming down straight away, and we're, we're hauling. We're, we're doing 150 miles an hour, okay? 150 miles per hour. And we're up in fifth gear, okay? We'll just pretend we've already been on this track around this corner. We know that this corner is a 50 mile an hour corner, okay? So if it's 50, we're going to just say we need to be in third gear to go through this corner. So somehow we got to scrub off 100 miles an hour, and we also have to go down a couple of gears from fifth to fourth, and then fourth down to third. Okay, so here's what we want to do. On the racetrack, we will come at this speed, 150 miles an hour, and our goal is to hit the brakes at a point in which it'll be sort of the last second that we can get it slowed down to 50 miles an hour. So let's just assume that's at this spot here. Okay, we start hitting the brake pedal. Okay. We start slowing the car down all the way through this zone. Okay, all the way till we need to basically turn into the corner. Okay, we're going to assume it's right there. Now, what we're really looking at is how are we going from fifth gear down to third gear in this zone? Well, we're going to probably just hit the brakes first, then let it scrub off some speed. Then at some point, we're going to go ahead and select fourth gear right there. Okay, a little farther down as we scrub off some more speed, uh, we'll go down and we'll hopefully select third gear and give us this much time to get it in gear and let it clutch out during this time, okay? So that's the goal. That's, that is where we want to do our downshifts, okay? Why do we want to do our downshifts there? Why is that such an important goal? Well, if anybody, any of you guys have actually done a downshift and messed up, okay, put it in gear, left the clutch in too long, then let it out too fast, You've probably felt that little tug of war where you you get the skid and the chirp out of the rear wheels, and it hesitates the car and it rotates the weight forward, and it basically acts like you've hit the brakes quickly, but just with the rear tires, and it puts the rear wheels into a bit of a skid. Okay, well, if you're in a straight line, you're in the safest zone you can be for that to happen. It'll mainly just get the car up in the rear, do a little skid, maybe a little wiggle, but you're still in a straight line and you'll pretty much be okay. okay. It's not the greatest thing, but at least you're safe. That's not true for if you actually have to have that same situation happen while you're in the corner. What happens when you turn a car? It leans the weight over to one side of the car, puts it in a, um, you know, a, a pretty bad position for chirping those rear tires because that actually then breaks the traction loose on the rear tires for just a split second and puts those tires into a slide. And if done in a big enough fashion at a fast enough speed, it will spin the car out. I've seen it done many, many times on the racetrack. So that's why we want to get it done in a straight line. We want to get our shifts, you know, first we want to brake, we want to scrub off speed, and in a nice rhythm, get it down to fourth gear using our heel toe downshift exercise. 
our technique, and then we want to shift down to third gear using, again, our heel toe downshift technique, and then get our clutch out before we turn in for the corner. Okay, so this is what it looks like. You're coming down the straightaway, you're hitting the brakes, you're starting to do your downshift from fifth to fourth, fourth to third, get the clutch out, and here's where you turn the steering wheel into this corner so that you can go all the way through the corner, out of the corner, and accelerate out in that third gear in the proper RPM range. Okay, so that's, that's basically it. Let's go over it one more time. Where are we doing our downshifts? We're going to be doing them in a straight line. Okay, just for the importance of basically getting our shifts done, it's a, it's a great place to do it. We're already slowing down, so we can actually get our shifts done, and there's going to be plenty of time to do your two shifts in this zone. If you're going 150 miles an hour, and you have to scrub up 100 miles an hour, believe me, it does take a bit of uh, real estate to get that done. Plenty of time to get two shifts down, so, and you can do it smoothly. The goal is, here's what you need to know. You need to, your goal needs to be have that last shift not only in gear, but the clutch out before the steering wheel turns into the corner. Okay, That will keep you safe. It's the proper way to do it. It makes the car nice and balanced, and it allows you to then start to you know, you know, be, move your footwork so that you can start to move your foot off the brake and start to move it over to the gas pedal so you can accelerate out of the corner. Okay, And that's something we're going to talk about a little bit later in another driving tip is, is where we actually start to pick up the throttle, how we use the brake coming through the corner. Okay, so for downshift, everybody, you guys, even if you're on a country road and you're having fun and you're going fast and you see some curves coming up and you, and you know you've got to start braking, start getting your shifts done, get them done before you, you get to the corner and start turning the steering wheel. Okay, I hope that helps. Uh, I want to thank you for uh, listening to another one of my driving tips. I want to throw in a little selfish plug here, um, if you guys would. Help me out. Go to www.jeffbucknam.com. Check out my store. It does help uh, pay for these videos to be done and some future videos that we're going to be doing out on the racetrack that are going to have um, everything from uh, more techniques to even um, more uh, you know, car bits and pieces that we're going to be testing out on the track. So we're going to really vamp these, these whole video things up. So thanks again. I hope you liked this uh, video technique. We'll have some more coming real soon. And again, go to jeffbucknam.com, check out my store. I help out a lot. Thanks.